Today's makeup tutorial is a like everyday drugstore makeup look. Um, this is something you can wear every day because the colors I use and the products I use are super soft and super subtle. So you can wear this to work, to school, to church. I'm actually headed to school like right after I filmed this. So it's definitely appropriate for like a classroom or just any like professional or everyday setting. So to start this makeup look out, I'm grabbing my Sasha Mattifying Face Primer. I don't know about you guys, but I get super oily, especially going from place to place. So I like to apply this under my foundation to stay matte all day. And then I follow that with a matte foundation. So today's matte foundation I'll be using is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I love this foundation. It's one of the most inexpensive foundations you can get your hands on. But it really works like super great guys and it comes in a lot of different colors today i'm using 340 which is a little orange looking for me but once it oxidizes and settles into my skin then i promise guys i won't look like a oompa loompa so next i'm taking my maybelline fit me concealer i just decided to stick to the fit me brand as far as like my main face products go and i'm using the color deep I think no yes this is deep and I'm just um, blending this in to highlight under my eyes and down the bridge of my nose sorry guys I had like a brain fart right there and then I'm following that with my Sasha buttercup setting powder you guys know the drill if you're interested in getting this there will be a code down below and that same code will get you some money off that mattifying primer I used at the beginning of the video so now with my Black Radiant Soft Focus Face Powder, I'm just like powdering the rest of my face to set my foundation. And then I'm going in with this BH Cosmetics Contour Palette and I'm taking the second to darkest color um, to contour with. But really I'm using this not as a super duper hard contour, but just to like bronze up and warm up my face a bit. Since I am going to class, I didn't want it to be too over dramatic. And now I'm just dusting away the Sasha Buttercup setting powder that I used to set my highlight. So I let that bake for about maybe five to 10 minutes or so. And then I'm going in with this small like Artiste dupe brush to contour my nose with and I'm using the same color that I used to like contour and bronze up my face. Now with the Maybelline The Nudes palette, I'm taking the medium brown tone out of that palette and putting that in my crease and transition area. Uh, this palette, the pigment is not the best on it, but it is buildable, so I do say it's an okay palette, but this is just the first thing I could get my hands on. And now I'm going in with the darker brown color and just deepening up my crease area and my outer V. And I'm also mixing that with a little bit of the black shadow just to add some definition into my eye look. And then I'm just blending and blending and blending. Um, these colors take a lot of work to blend, so if you have any other palette, I would definitely suggest that over this one. But like I said, it's what I can get my hands on. So now with my finger, I'm applying the gold color out of that palette and just putting that all over my lid. Um, I like to use my fingers sometimes when it comes to my lid color. I don't know why, but I just do. So now that we got that done, I'm going in and coating my lashes with mascara to kind of prime them before I put on my uh, falsies. And so I'm using the Maybelline Last Sensational Mascara, following that with these Broadway lashes that I get from the Beauty Supply Store. And this is in the style Wispy. They're $1.99 and these are the first lashes I ever used and fell in love with. And they're just really great for an everyday look. They're not too over the top, they just give you some length. And now I'm just coating my bottom and top lashes again. So now with my Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter, I'm highlighting my nose, the highest points of my cheekbone area, brow bone down the bridge of my nose, and also my cupid's bow. This is not really in the drugstore price range. I think this was about $22 at Ulta, but they did put it in the drugstore section of the store um, in Ulta, so I just threw it in as a drugstore product. Next with my NYX lip pencil in the color Mauve, I'm just lining my lips and I'm really going to have to build up this lip pencil for like four, 
for my be, to be able there we go to be able to get a good color payoff yeah I don't know what I was trying to say and then I'm taking my Maybelline vivid matte liquid lipstick in the color new thrill and then just um, adding in some more lip liner to just deepen up the lip overall guys this video was not sponsored by Maybelline I promise I use a lot of Maybelline's products because they work really great but they didn't send me none of this stuff I actually bought it so don't 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 think I'm lying to y'all or anything so I went ahead and fixed my edges, fluffed my hair out a bit, and this is the finished look. Super simple, super easy to do, and great for an everyday look, and all the products were 100% drugstore. And that's pretty much it for this video. So I'll see you guys back here tomorrow for my next Cat's Hover video.